God's call on your life to go in the mission field and how does someone else recognize you know God calling them to the mission field? Uh, as I began to travel uh, for, for short-term trips outside of the country I just saw a world um, that I really had been oblivious to for so long and uh, God really showed me that he wanted to use the abilities that he's given me um, to really advocate for the poor and to make a difference in people's lives uh, uh, in a different way than I thought. I went to school to be a reporter for ESPN. I thought that was how I was supposed to make my impact in the world. Uh, but there was a greater call. I think when you feel that call and uh, he starts to put that into your path, you can't shake it. You can't get away from it. And the doors just started to open. and. I still can't believe I've been there almost a year and a half now, um, and it's been an, it's been an honor. But when God calls, you can't ignore it, and I think the way He does it is unique for every single person. For me, um, God called me when I was a sophomore in college, and it actually was a big surprise for me because I kind of had my own plan for my life. So I remember leaving that night and saying, asking God, um, God, do you want me to do something different with my life? And if you do. I'll do it, but you have to make it clear, write it in the sky, um, but if you show me, I'll change my path. And within uh, a month, he clearly showed me through many things that he, he wanted me to do mission. My dad and I led several mission trips down to New Orleans, um, and then we went on a longer trip. Um, we actually went to the Czech Republic and served with Noel. Mm -hmm. And when I came back from that, I was kind of feeling like maybe, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could leave the teaching profession and become a long-term missionary. Well, really, Noel spoke with me, met with me, kind of put me on the right path to figuring out whether God really was calling me to be a missionary. After that, I went to Sudan and again spent six weeks. And when I came back, life was just completely different. I knew that I wasn't satisfied in the way that I needed to be with, with the work that I was doing, even though I loved teaching. And so then my path was just, it was made clear to me. I just stepped and everything opened up.